of the three-year-old Colt Pace, Ohio Sire Stakes action, third leg, a pace of one mile, a purse of $20,000. Win play show exact to trifecta wagering, a field of eight, no changes. Number one is Standing Chad, owned by the Ross Stables Limited Liability Company of Rochester, Michigan, trained and driven by Dale Ross. Number two is Tricky Tradition, owned by Michael Lowe of West Lafayette, Ohio, trained and driven by Ty Loy. Number three is Burton Bobby, owned by Pauline Bryant and Donald Cockerell. They're both of Ohio, trained by Donald Cockerell with Jack Dilley. The four is Sid the Squid, owned by Jeffrey Lawton of Jefferson, Ohio, trained by James Perry with Kyle Waiter at the lines. Number five is Art Peace, owned by the Darby's Edge Stable, Joe Descala Jr., Ray Hall, they're of Ohio, New York, and New Jersey, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., Dave Hawk. Number six is Arts Candy, owned by Diana Lynn Malone of Waterford, Ohio, trained by Guy Malone with Bob Harper. Number seven is Scooby Can 2, owned by the FTF Incorporated of Johnstown, Ohio, trained by Ron Potter, Danny Noble. And for the outside of the eight is Upfront Leader, owned by the Wingfield Brothers, they're all of Ohio, trained and driven by Jim Daly, Ian the Sulky. That's the field for the ninth race, fourth division of the three-year-old Colt Pace. Ohio Sire Stakes, Standing Chad, Tricky Tradition, Burton Bobby, Sid the Squid, Art Peace, Arts Candy, Scooby, Cantu, and up front leader on the outside. Field, Yen Mo Shut. They're all fan pacing and firing away from the outside. There goes Scooby Can 2. Driving up from the inside, there is Tricky Tradition. Away in third, that is Sid the Squid. Coming away, racing in fourth, that is Burton Bobby. Dropping in in five is Art Peace. Sixth on the inside, that is Standing Chad. Seventh, that is Arts Candy. And eighth in trailing the field, that is up front leader. As they race around the first turn in single file formation on top of the field, Scooby Can 2. And Danny Noble leads it here by a length and a half. Into the inside, Tricky Tradition. Tradition is right there in the garden spot, racing in two by the opening quarter in a moderate 28 seconds flat. Passing on by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half and Scooby can two. Leads it here by length and three quarters. Tricky Tradition is right there in two. Along the inside, Sid the Squid is racing in third. Fourth and unhurried there is Burt and Bobby. First over on the outside in five, that is Art Peace towing along standing Chad in six. Seventh on the inside, that is Art's Candy and eighth and trailing the field, but a swing to the outside up front later. They were halfway home in 57 and four thefts. A second panel at 29 and four and Scooby can two with the lead here. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters and their long journey begins. And on top of the field, Scooby can two and Danny Noble is very comfortable here leading it by a length and three quarters. And to the inside, Tricky Tradition is doing his best to stick with him in second. First over on the outside and being asked for more. Three to five favorite here. That is Art Piece. Three quarters and 125 and two thefts. They'll pace the final turn and head for home and Scooby can two is on a mission here leads it by three into the inside art piece is trying to really bend second off the turn to the top of power alley and less than an eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch they come Scooby can two with the lead art piece is coming to him and coming on inside the final 16 Scooby can two wins the fourth division of the three-year-old Colt pace Ohio Sire Stakes action finishing second was the five art piece third was the four Sid the squid the time of the mile, 153, two fifths, Scooby, can two, in a new lifetime arc out of the Ron Potter stable for driver Danny Noble. Track side of the winner's circle, the official winner of the ninth race, the fourth division of the three-year-old Colt Pace, Ohio Sire Stakes action, capturing the third leg of Ohio Sire Stakes, is the seven Scooby, can two, home in a new lifetime arc, 153 and two fifths. Scooby can two is a three-year-old bake outing by Matt Can Do. Out of Snap the Trap Mares, she buys Set the Trap. Is owned by the FTF Incorporated of Johnstown, Ohio. Nicely trained by Ron Potter. Very nicely driven here this evening by winning driver Danny Noble. For Ron Potter, that's two wins on this evening's card, giving him a conditioning double. Two wins on the card for Danny Noble, giving him a driving double. 153 and two, Scooby can two, home a winner. In the winner's circle, making the trophy presentation, the administrator of the Ohio Standard Bread Development Fund, Mr. Doug Thomas. The late pick three in the second half of the late daily double. Superfecta wagering. Drivers change on the seven. Bold item. The driver is Jeff Fout. 
Jeff Fount drives the seven bold item in the 12th and final race. Upcoming 10th race, a field of nine, no changes, post time 1048.